Gary Sunderlovitz is with the Clarity Agency and he preaches the marketing gospel of experience at every engagement. It's a useful thing for marketers to understand and engage with. So Gary, you talk about the importance of adding value at every click or swipe. Are you suggesting that brands and marketers don't do that? I'm suggesting that there is so much, there's such a rush to get the user where the business believes the user wants to go. They don't actually think about how the user gets there. And is the user learning about the journey as, as they're getting to that end goal? Why, why does the user need to learn about the journey? Surely there's a very clear objective that they have in mind and the quicker they get there the better. Well, I think, in, well, in my opinion, first of all, if you can make the user go wow at every click or swipe, then you're doing something for your brand, all right? So it's not just about the destination, it's how you get there, all right? It's if, if you make a page transition well or add a related content or an interesting news article uh, to a product that the user is looking at, perhaps that will say something about your brand that the user would have never realized previously. And for me, that's important. Um, the user can always, like, let's say a shopping site, there are millions of shopping sites. Sure. How do you differentiate? You know, is it about sending the user to the checkout as fast as possible? Or is it about showing him your range of products in a very innovative way? It's a bit of both, isn't it? I'd say so. Mm. So how do you construct that, that engaging experience for someone? So, where, where, would it, where would a brand start in that respect, do you think? You need to understand your user. Mm. All right? you, you can't just look at a, a digital solution from a business perspective. You've got to understand your market, all right? Um, it's like, like one of the shopping, uh, like a pig and pay mm. or Willys or something. You've got to understand who's coming to your store. Why? Are so in they? other words, what, 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 what is driving them there in the yeah. first place? What is driving purchase motivation and ultimately what they want to establish from that experience would Every, be uh, perhaps a starting point for the brand. 100%. Yeah. Um, you, you walk through, you can have a taste of some um, pit and hummus as mm -hmm. an example, or the product placement, you know, um, interesting things as you walk around. What makes that experience mm -hmm. awesome? Is it the high ceilings? Is it the lighting? The same kind of thinking needs to be taken into account when a user's mm -hmm. traveling through your digital platform. Of course, it's difficult to give people a taste experience online. Perhaps that is to come at some point. That'll be my next lure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the art of Facebook. How, how does Facebook fit into all of this then? Is there a different approach to that compared to perhaps just a, a normal website application so when you design a web solution yeah. all right that web solution needs to fit into the ecosystem of your marketing mix it could, shouldn't be designed in isolation mm -hmm. so that's going to have objectives all right um, that uh, your website's going to ho hold a whole lot of content you will object will have business objectives mm -hmm. from that site so lead conversion or you want users to share a certain product or service brand awareness, product awareness, mm. things like that. But how do you get the users to your website, all right? That has to be taken into account as well, because if you just develop mm. um, that web... And that's the notion of, of community and, intima and, and intimacy, I would imagine, with the yeah. consumer. So you build yeah. your communities. How yeah. do you build your communi communities? You do that on your social environments. You also drive traffic through paid media. All right, and that could be Google AdWords, remarketing or retargeting, as people may call it. Um, and then, of course, ra running campaigns on social. And then you, in social, the sphere's growing all the time. The mothership, of course, is mm -hmm. Facebook. And I think engaging, especially retail brands, engaging on Facebook is a very tricky thing, all right, because of the temptation for retail on, on digital, mm. especially Facebook, is to force feed you specials. Your typical above the line marketing. That is spam. Mm. Bottom line spam. And um, big companies like Apple are starting to release spam blockers. And for a user to see an advert that is non-contextual, mm. that doesn't add value to his journey through mm. your engagement, is bad for your brand and will have a drop off. So the way to do that is to fuse your advertising on Facebook or your engagement mm. on Facebook in an entertaining way, in an educational way, in, an, in a contextual way that adds value, again, at every engagement mm. as the user goes through your site. All right, uh, Gary Sunderlovitz, when you manage to achieve that uh, tasting the pita and hummus online, mm -hmm. you're very welcome to come back from the Clarity Agency. Thank Thanks you very so much. much for joining us. Thanks so much.